Mark Farner kicks it off with a very solid uh, lead intro on the song. It's obviously worked out and uh, it sounds great against those simple chords. <laughs> Let's slow that puppy down <laughs> and uh, figure it all out. Okay, so here's the tab on the screen. There's a lot of hammer-ons and um, a lot of alternate picking as well, but uh, I think you'll be able to catch it if I play it slow enough. <laughs> So let's get into some detail with that though, uh, especially the second lick. You've got the intro lick, which is, and that's easy enough. It's got a hammer on and then you start uh, picking the note that's on the seventh fret. But then he has this, and you can see I've divided it up for you four even times on a tablature so you can uh, see it very clearly. But what you're doing is you're doing a hammer on with a down stroke. And the way alternate picking works, at least effectively works, is that that hammer-on would technically be an upstroke of the pick if you were to pick it. So the next note that you do pick should be a downstroke. So you should be playing it down, down, up, down, down, up. And you should wind up on an upstroke, which sets you up to loop the lick around. probably the best way to do it and the most effective way. So we have So I, I slice that with a downstroke again and then then up down up. That's all pretty clear and should be uh, pretty easy to wrap your head around. But then he plays. So a good way to approach that, I start that with an upstroke. So again, you wind up with up, down, up, and then there's a very quick slide. And that should be down, up in your right hand. That kind of pattern where you're going up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And of course, you're going back and forth between the fifth and the seventh fret. Not to get too crazy about it, but it's really important uh, in terms of playing it up to speed and making it sound nice and round the way he does. I've always gone into a lot of detail with, with picking technique with my students because it just seems like it helps out so much. So. Uh, so bear with me for a second. <laughs> and that's a little half step bend or semi half step bend. And then he plays. So that's a pull off right at the start, the set of 16th notes here. And uh, for me, the same rules apply to the game of alternate picking. If you're doing a pull off and you're starting with a downstroke, then where that pull off is would technically be an upstroke in your pick. So you want to play it down. That would be an upstroke. So you would play from the seventh fret on the D string, the remainder of the lick, with down, up, down, up, down, up, etc. See, it's just the economic way to do it. It works out really well that way. And then you just have the two notes at the end.
So let's move to the main solo in the middle. It starts out with uh, dual guitars, two-part harmony, and uh, I consider the lower guitar to be guitar one. It doesn't matter. You can flip them on their head if you want to. Uh, but that first uh, guitar, guitar one, is played like so. So let me slow that down. Again, you're going to employ some alternate picking on this for sure. And uh, as far as fingering right across those strings uh, that you just saw, just do what works best for you. You can use one finger and kind of roll it across the strings or two, whatever you want to do. I probably change it up from time to time when I play it. Uh, but let me play that one slow for you. So definitely some alternate picking once you get to the... Uh, And then you've got the harmony guitar part on top, which is, of course, a harmony guitar part. And it's played like so. So let me do that one for you slow. And again, uh, feel free to use whatever fingers are best for you. It's pretty predictable what fingers you should be using. But uh, crossing the strings like that, some people like to just use one finger, like I said, and kind of roll across. Just do whatever is comfortable for you. That's kind of the fingering I like to use for it. And then the solo guitar, uh, which again I consider guitar one to be the main one, takes flight with this. So let's talk about that. There's a little bit of a mystery, I think, surrounding that fast lick. So uh, I'll talk about that very uh, succinctly here, hopefully. But it starts off with a classic Chuck Berry style lick. So let's get into that and take it apart bit by bit, okay? We're on the G string and we're doing a full step bend. And then we're barring the B string and the E string at the 10th fret. And then coming back to the B string on 13 and it's a full step bend. So that's the 10th fret on the E string. And again, heavy dose of alternate picking here. And that's a pull off from 13 to 10. Again, alternate picking in the right hand. Now the lick that follows, I think, is kind of a mystery. Sometimes you hear it played like this. Or, you know, something like that. But if you uh, listen very carefully, if you slow this recording down, it's actually a set of five notes, and he plays it like this. And that can be kind of tricky to play. I'm not sure how he ever came up with it, to be honest, but it's, it can be pretty tricky to play. And he plays it six times in a row, and then he plays this. So that's kind of a standard bluesy thing as well. Um, be sure to put a finger in front of the string that you're trying to bend, but you're trying to hold the 10th fret in place at pitch. And of course, you're pushing the B string up a whole step. Once you get close to pitch or on pitch, it's supposed to sound a little bit nasty and grungy. Uh, hold the pitch. Strike it again and release it. And then pick it again. And you want those two notes to just grunge together the way he does it. 
Do it again. 10th fret on the B string, 12 on G. Give it a bend on the 10th fret on the G string, and then park it on the 12th fret on the D string. So here it is, that whole little section, that whole little bit, nice and slow. I think I played that lick six times. <laughs> Can't tell I was playing it so slow. any event it is uh six times so there you go with uh, american band from uh grand funk and uh some pretty cool little lead work from uh mark farner i hope you enjoyed the uh lesson and uh we'll see you guys soon